Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Steffi Jane and this is Steffi Jane Life, my YouTube yoga channel. I record uh, my videos from my live Zoom classes that I run every week, so this is one of them. If you'd like to get involved in my live classes, please check out the links below and you can email me or subscribe to my mailing list. We're going to do some balancing work today, so it's really good for balancing the hemispheres of your brain for balancing your emotions and just bringing some general balance into your life. So we're going to start with a balancing breath to, again, balance us before we start doing some standing balancing postures. So just come into your breath first, settle your body, draw your sits bones down and your spine up, lengthening your spine and start to feel the air come into both nostrils and then exhaling out through both nostrils. And again, like that. Allowing the body to slow down. And then we're going to learn the alternate nostril breath. So that will be bringing the three fingers in the middle, your thumb and your pinky sticking out. So we're going to Block one nostril and breathe in through that nostril. Inhale. Pinch at the top. And then exhale out through the opposite nostril. And then so you're breathing through the right. Pinching at the top. And then exhaling out through the left. And again, slowly in through the left. Pinching at the top. And then exhaling out through the right. So we're making a bit of an upside down U shape or an A with our breath. Start to slow it down even further. Going at your own rhythm, inhaling fully and exhaling fully. This breath is really good for balancing both the hemispheres of your brain and bringing yourself into equilibrium. So it's really good to do before an assessment or an important meeting or on time when you're just feeling a bit, you know, out of your head and you want to bring yourself back into your body. This is a really nice breath to be doing start to balance your emotions through changing your physical state. And then you can play around with the breath by even adding a pause at the top, holding your breath for a bit before exhaling out again. And then at the bottom again, you can pause. taking your hand away and you can try to continue your breath, alternating nostrils, if you can, or if you prefer, you can return back to your normal breath. One more breath. And then take a deep breath in, filling up the belly, filling up the rib cage, and exhale fully out through your mouth. And then just sit in stillness, noticing any differences in your state from beginning the breath until now. And then coming over into a tabletop position Oh, slowly walking our way over with our hands under our shoulders, knees under our hips. Just start to sway from side to side. Waking up the spine. 
can start to push through the top of the back, arching the top of your spine as well. So we've got some nice little movements from side to side. You may even turn this into a bit more of a circle by sending your hips backwards. But again, just listen to your body, do any movements that feel good that you need to slowly wake up your body. We're just moving slowly, connecting with our breath, tuning in to what movement will bring us balance today. Maybe you do some standard cat cows, dropping the belly, looking forward on the inhale, exhaling, pushing through the top of the spine. And then again, hammocking the belly, looking forward, inhale, and then arching the spine. You may even like to send the hips back as well into a child's pose, and then coming up again into a cat, and then sending the hips back. So again, just tuning in to what you need. Coming into stillness now, we send our right leg long to the back of the mat, toes touching the mat, descending the heel back. And we can just do some nice little pulses, trying to stretch out the calf, really pushing through the tops of the hands. So we're trying to spread out the tops of our shoulder blades as we're doing this. Nice slow breathing as we work the back of our leg up. And then engaging our core, sending the heel up. So we're pushing, imagining that we're pushing the foot against an imaginary wall. Cool. Finding balance in both of our legs. This might just be enough for you today. And if so, just keep the leg here. Otherwise, opposite hands, the left hand works in long. We've got our left hand stretching forward. We've got our right foot pushing backwards. And we're just balancing on our opposite hand and shin. And if we're feeling a bit of a wobble, it's okay. Or we'll check in with your big toe. Can we turn that inward so it's facing directly down, stretching a tiny bit further. Either stay here or if you're with me, bringing the elbow to the knee on the exhale. So we're slowly moving in between these two, stretching long, inhale, and then exhale, elbow to knee. And again, nice and slowly, we're trying mindful and slow in between both of these movements. Cool. Extending the leg long, placing the left hand down again. Now swivel the left leg to the outside of your mat. So now we're going to be balancing on our left hand and our left shin, and we inhale and reach the right hand up to the sky. So, and then you might stay here in a supported side plank, or you might be able to lift up the right leg and extend the right leg above the top of your head. So we're going to inhale, reach long, and then on the exhale, again, we're going to crunch. Elbow comes into the knee. And again, inhaling, lengthening. Big stretch in the body, imagine like pushing away from the wall. And then exhale, elbow comes to knee. One more like that. And then crunching a last time. Extending long, releasing the foot down, placing the right hand back down, swiveling back the left foot and we come back to our tabletop. And again, some nice little movements, anything that feels good for you. Maybe you drop your hips and come forward. Maybe you do some nice circular motions with your breath. Maybe you're comfortable doing a standard cat-cow, that's also okay. So tuning in, listen to what your body needs. You might even Send your hips back and lay your head down into a nice little child's pose. And then returning back to our tabletop, pushing through the tops of our hands, knees under our hips, and we send the left leg long this time. Toes still touching the mat, and we just push the heel into the back of the mat, so we're feeling that connection in the back of our leg. A few little pulses with our breath, waking up. And again, pushing through both of your hands, spreading out the top of the shoulder blades, ground the left hand and we extend the right hand long, lift the left leg up. So we're pushing the left leg against an imaginary wall and we're imagining that we're reaching forward. We need to engage our core for this. 
nice strong foundation in the left hand and right shin oh, and smile <laughs> and then inhale lengthen a tiny bit more and then exhale our elbow comes into our knee nice and slowly be really mindful of the transition the journey between both of the motions inhaling lengthen and then crunching on the exhale so just doing three of these at your own rhythm maybe you're faster maybe you're slower than me you need to go at the rhythm that feels good for you placing the hand and the foot back down swivel the right leg to the outside of the mat inhale the left hand up to the sky we come into our side plank and then once we're finding balance you may be able to lift up the foot and extend the hand long so again we're pushing against an imaginary wall and lengthening so just balancing on our right side and then if you're with me you're going to do some crunches inhale lengthen exhale elbow comes to knee and again lengthen and elbow comes to me so just doing three or four of these Really focusing on connecting the breath with the movement. Lengthen one last time, and then placing the hand and the leg back down, swivel back the right, and we come back into our tabletop. Curling the toes, and we start to send our hips up into our downward facing dog. And just do any comfortable movements that feel good for you here. You may like to come back down into child's pose and send your hips back up. So transitioning between that and our down dog. Maybe you stay in your day on dog and you pedal out your feet. Just ensuring that we're keeping a nice straight back. Our hips are sent upwards to the ceiling. And we're allowing our neck and our head to be heavy and relaxed. Breathing deeply and exhale out through your mouth. And then start to walk your hands and your feet together. And just come into a forward fold, so touching the earth. Allowing all the blood to flow towards your head. And then we start to roll our spine up, each vertebrae at a time, nice and slowly. Shoulders and hands coming last, neck nice and long. And then just start to feel the ground underneath your feet. So we can just do some swaying movements, just play around with the balance on your feet. So we're coming over to the side and then the back and the front. So you're just playing around with the tripod on your feet. So from your heel to the front two points on the palm of your foot. And then just trying to make that even, really spread out your feet. Pick up your toes and then just roll all your toes back down. <laughs> cool. Coming onto your left foot. Yeah, and just allow the right foot to be bent, still touching the toes to the ground. Finding some balance in front of you. We're going to come into our tree pose when we're ready. So just find the balance first. Make sure we're growing down with our left foot and up with our spine. So the tree roots are growing down, our spine is growing up. Once we're feeling balanced, we can bring it just below our knee. And then you may even be able to bring it above your knee. So lots of different options. If you're feeling a bit wobbly, you can even just keep the foot touching the ground today. That's also okay. So take the option that you need. And your hands can be on your hips in your chest, even up like tree branches. So take the option again, that feels good for you. But we're just feeling that growing tall like a tree, growing tall like tree branches and growing down in our left leg, like the roots of the tree. You may even like to do a bit of movement with your hands, that's also okay. And then even play around with closing your eyes. <laughs> that will add a bit more of a wobble. Oh, taking one more deep breath and then releasing and then that same leg 
bending it up in front of us. Oh, again, balancing on the leg. And we start to have our hands on our hips. We start to tip our body forward and start to send the leg back. We may be able to reach all the way back into a high lunge. If you can't go that far, that's okay. We can have a smaller stance. Once we find our balance with our feet, we inhale, we reach up to the ceiling. Big long stretch. So again, we're growing tall with our spine and we're feeling that grounding energy of our legs. Inhale again. And exhale. Start to bring the weight forward. We come onto our left leg. We bend the right knee up. And then we exhale and we release and we send the hands up. Just so doing a few transitions like this, coming onto the front leg, bending the knee, our hands come down. And then the exhale, we send the leg back up. And you can just do this with a smaller stance if you're feeling a bit wobbly today. Just transition in a few times. You could even try with your eyes closed as well. See how that goes. One last one and we end together in our high lunge. Taking in a breath, inhale, reaching up. Now again, coming forward into our left foot, sending the weight forward and we start to send our foot up and we come into our warrior three and our hands may be above our head or we can bring them down in aeroplane arms on our hips or in at our chest to so take the option that feels good for you. Again, we're just feeling that really strong left leg grounding down. Imagine that we're flying and our chest is lifting up and we're pushing that back leg against the back wall. Again, check in with that big toe. Can we turn that inwards and down? So we're checking in with the hips because the tendency is to want to open up the right hip. So we want to keep our hips nice and parallel. One more breath, inhale. And exhale out through the mouth. Imagine that we're flying. And then starting to tip our body up and release the foot back down. Rolling our body down. We touch the earth. Forward fold again. And allow all the blood to flow to your head and allow your hips to release, especially the left leg that was holding the weight of the body. And then we start to roll our spine back up, each vertebrae at a time, nice and slowly. And once more, we come into standing Tadasana, finding that strong mountain pose. And again, just finding that tripod of our feet, imagining that our feet are really spreading out so we can feel as though our right foot is going to be suctioned to the mat. Then coming onto the right foot and just bending the left leg slightly, finding our balance first. Imagine that we're growing tall, we're growing down, and then we can bring our foot just below our knee or above our knee. So taking the option that feels good for you today. Hands on hips, hands at the heart, or hands up like tree branches, taking your option, growing tall and growing down. So again, we're getting that length of our spine or imagining that we're getting pulled up and down at the same time. Lots of options here, you can even close your eyes. And if you're feeling a bit wobbly, just notice, you know, in your life, are you feeling a bit imbalanced in any way? You know, balanced postures can be really calming for the mind, but you might find that you're a bit more wobbly on days that you're feeling wobbly in your mind. <laughs> One more inhale. And then we release, <sighs> placing both legs down. And again, standing nice and tall, bringing that left leg up again. Well, knee comes in 45 degree angle to the chest and then we start to tip our body forward, hands on the hips and we send the left foot back into our high lunge. Maybe you have a smaller stance, that's also okay. Once we find balance, you might want to wiggle your right foot over to create a bit more balance so your feet are further apart on train tracks. Inhale, we reach up. Nice long length of the spine, grounding down through the front foot and the back leg. One more breath and exhale out through the mouth. Start to bring the weight forward and then we can lift off 
and bend the left knee up to our chest. Our hands come down and then we send the leg back. Inhale and our hands come up. So connecting with the breath, nice slow movements here. Again, try and focus on the transition between both of those. Can we make it as even and fluid as possible? One more and we end in a high lunge. Inhale again, holding this posture for a breath, really lengthening our spine, tucking in the tailbone as we do this and smile. And then again, transition the weight forward. This time we're going to keep our hands above our head and lift the back leg up. We come into our warrior three. Now we can change our hands if we wish. We can keep them above our head. Aeroplane arms in our heart or on our hips. Having them on your hips is really helpful because we can check in with if our left hip is wanting to open, bringing it back down so it can be parallel to the mat. Also helps to check in with that left toe. Holding your breath here, inhale and exhale. Looking at a spot in front of you, trying to relax the neck and the shoulders and every other part of your body as well while we're holding this. One more breath. And then we come back up to standing, lifting the leg and we float back down. Maybe we roll back down, touching the earth again, just releasing both of the legs. And then sway our hips from side to side. Allowing all the blood flow to come to our head. And then we roll back up each vertebrae at a time, nice and slowly. Coming into standing, nice and tall. Now bringing our feet in slightly, our toes to touch. We're going to come into chair posture. So sending our bottom down. Again, we need to keep the tailbone tucked with this. Engage the core, send the bottom back down. Imagine that we're sitting on a chair. And then with this, we might want to poke our bottom out. So we want to just bring it back slightly. So we've got a nice straight back. Yep. Sending the hips down a tiny bit more. Engage the core as we do this. And then we can inhale, we can reach our hands above our head. Or have our hands in our heart. Cool. So taking the option, taking the breath. Sink a tiny bit lower, one more breath. Inhale. And then exhale, folding forward, touching the earth. Allowing the legs to release. And then we inhale, we reach up to the ceiling. Engage the core as we do this big long stretch with our body. Inhale, and then we send our hips back down, back into chair pose. We can keep our hands in our heart or above our head. This time we're gonna come onto the weight of our left foot, lifting up the right. So we're just hovering the right foot here. That's it. Hovering for a moment, inhale. You can even try and bring that foot out in front of you or around. So just exploring, we're just hovering on one foot and then we place it down. Release, inhale up. And then exhale, we come back down. Hands in at the heart, sinking the bottom down, and we come onto our right foot, right foot. So we're just transitioning the weight to the right. Smile, feel the burn in the legs. <laughs> Holding it here for a moment. Again, we can extend the left leg long or out. We can just have a little bit of an explore with the balance. So just strengthening up the legs here as well, but it's also balanced posture. Placing the foot back down in how we reach up. And then we fold our body forward, touching the earth, allowing the hips to release. Again, swaying the hips from side to side. And allowing the blood to flow to your head and release. Releasing the shoulders, releasing the neck. Engaging the core, inhale, reach up again. Reach up to the ceiling. Hands come in at the heart. We send our bottom down again. Transition the weight to the left. This time you can just hover here again, just like we did. Or if you want a tiny bit more, we can place the ankle on top of our thigh. We come into our figure four position. And again, just hands in at the heart as we do this, checking with the tailbone, tuck it in. Inhale, try and relax the face, try and relax the shoulders and the neck. 
where we're holding tension. One more breath, sink a bit lower, inhale. And then exhale, release, reaching up. And hands come down. Inhale, we reach up again. Hands coming at our heart, we send our hips down. This time coming onto the weight of the other foot. Hovering there for a moment, and then you might stay here, or you might come into our figure four position, dropping the hips, allowing the ankle to rest on the thigh. One more breath. Focusing on the spot in front of you that's not moving. Again, checking it with our core and our tailbone. One more breath. And then inhale, we release. Reach up to the ceiling, place the leg down. And then we get to fold forward one last time, touching the earth, releasing the legs. Doing any movements that feel good here. You might sway your hips from side to side. You might just like to dangle and to hold both of your uh, elbows and allow your head to release. Taking in a few breaths here, allowing the body to release. And then one last inhale, reaching up, bending the knees, stretching up to the ceiling. And then our hands come down to our body, to the side, rolling our shoulders back, ending into dasana, feeling that nice strength of our legs and the growth and the length of our spine. And to end with, we'll do our alternate nostril breath. So you can choose to bring your hands to your nostrils one more time, or you can keep them away and do the breath for each nostril without the hands. So just taking a few rounds in your own time. So imagining the breath coming in through the left and then out the right. Then in the right and out the left. Gradually slowing the breath down. Maybe you can add a pause at the top and a pause at the end. Feeling how this breath is calming for our body and allows our nervous system to slow down. Now bringing our hands into our heart, making a little lotus flower with our hands. So bringing the three fingers out, pinky and the thumb to touch. And just to take in a moment to think about how can you create balance in your life today? Could be something nurturing that you need to do, something physical, could be something you eat. How can you create balance in your life today? And closing that back up. Thank you for practicing today. Namaste.